Hello and good morning. I want to welcome you to our online virtual service. We're pleased to be able to offer this. We're grateful for those who have worked so hard to allow this congregation to have this media resource to bring this to you. We had no idea that we would need it for this purpose, but this purpose is allowing us to take full advantage of the media that we have available to us. We hope that you are home and rested and comfortable, enjoying the time together as well as being in prayer and being in study of God's Word and uh, uh, in prayer for a lot of the things that are going on here. We want to continue to provide this platform, make this platform available for you, uh, for members of our congregation as we share God's love, God's will, and God's encouragement in our life through this difficult time. It is our intent to keep up with all of our prayer requests and prayer concerns, and if you have any, please take advantage of the media. Uh, you can send an email to the office. Uh, you can call the office or call Lisa, and we'll make sure that those prayer requests are, are updated and updated on a regular basis. We will continue to use our email format. We'll continue to use uh, the YouTube channel. We'll continue to use our Facebook and any other means that we have to bring to you a message from our heart and a message from, uh, from others who are, who are driving the encouragement. We're grateful that you're taking time to, to watch this. We're thankful for the thoughts, for the support, for all the consideration that you give us, gave us from last week. And we're going to continue that as long as we can and as long as we are sheltered in place. I have a scripture reading that I want to share with you this morning before we go to God in prayer. I want to read from Psalms chapter 48, verse 9. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Dropping down to verse 14 and closing the chapter. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our God and our guide even to the end. Won't you bow with me? Our loving Heavenly Father, as we approach you through this mean, through this medium, we're grateful that we have this opportunity. We're grateful for, for the love that we're able to share, for the fellowship that we're able to have. Even though we are socially distancing, we are spiritually connecting. Father, we pray your love and your will and your guidance in what is going on with this COVID-19 virus. We pray, pray for those who are affected by it. We pray for those who are in a leadership position. We pray for those homeland, those frontline people, uh, police officers and firefighters, nurses and doctors and caregivers who are on the front line of this virus. Father, we pray for strength and compassion. We pray for comfort. And we pray for forgiveness. Father, you, the Bible tells us that where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there also. And as we gather in individual homes this morning through this medium, we ask that you be there with us. As we sing songs of, of praise and fellowship together, as we study your word, as we hear from a well-prepared sermon, we ask that you be with us. We ask that you watch over us through this difficult time and bring us back together as soon as we possibly can. Father, for the fellowship is great. Father, we love you and we give you all the praise. And it's in your son Jesus' name that we pray. And amen. <laughs> 